Illegal immigration has certainly been in the national spotlight over the last few weeks. A vote tomorrow morning at the Austin City Council meeting could mean more undocumented immigrants stay right here, even if they've been arrested on other charges. KXAN's Angie Bevan explains. The resolution takes aim at the county's compliance with what's called secure communities. Now, through that program, anyone who is arrested is brought here to central booking, is fingerprinted, and then they're run through a database. The database checks if someone is wanted by another state or the federal government. Secure Communities alerts officers if someone arrested has an immigration hold. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, known as ICE, will then have Travis County detain the person until he or she can be handed over to immigration authorities. The organization Austin Immigrant Rights Coalition helped write the resolution and wants to stop deportations for people who aren't arrested for violent crimes. The group organized a protest at the Travis County Jail back in February locking arms in front of jail exits. The resolution asks the county to stop complying with secure communities and asks the city manager to research options other than the Travis County Central Booking Facility. The counties all over the United States who have, who have opted out of this program have shown that it is not a mandatory program. Um, I believe right now the count is 132 counties um, and the fact that if this program was actually um, uh, uh, Mandatory, it would be a violation of the 10th Amendment. Three council members support the resolution. They're all set to discuss and vote on the issue Thursday at their regular meeting. Reporting in Austin, Angie Bevan, KXAN News. Housing undocumented immigrants in Austin costs a lot of money. A report from last year shows it costs about $106 per day per person to keep them locked up in the Travis County Jail. Here's more you may not know. Immigration officials say 19 undocumented immigrants are deported from Travis County each week. Taking that number and multiplying it by 52 weeks means nearly 1,000 are deported from here each year. Immigration and Customs Enforcement officials told Congress last year it costs $12,500 to deport someone. That means it costs more than $12 million each year to deport immigrants arrested in Travis County.